Okay, now for our next one. Moose Lodge Murder. Bum bum. Moo. Ooh, I think electrocution comes into play here. That does not look like fun. I can't wait to show oh, you this chess yay. set that I won at the Moose Lodge Charity Auction, Jess. The pieces are carved from real marble. It's nice that you were able to get something you like so much and help the Moose Lodge's favorite cause at the same time. Why is it so quiet here? I thought for sure someone would be around. Seth! Wait a minute. What's that over there? Oh my! Is that a person? It's Daniel Lane! What happened here? He had a shocking time. <laughs> I'm sorry. We should hurry over to the Lane household and break this terrible news to Maddie. Uh oh. Isn't that right across the street? Lead the way. And call the police. Doctor? Jessica? Oh no, it's Daniel, isn't it? Is he all right? She sounds exasperated. I'm sorry, Mrs. Lane. He's dead. It looks like he was electrocuted. Oh god. Daniel! What happened? Was it... an accident? Maybe not. I can't believe this. Maddie, please sit down before you upset yourself more. We'll do everything we can to find out why this happened to Daniel. So let's look around. We have And no, the hints don't carry over. Sad. Did you is and no, you is no, I didn't miss one. sure I got them all. It's just, I think I clicked too fast so I don't get, like, the extra hint via time, like I did last time. Sad. Oh, well. So, basically, we see a guy get electrocuted. Got zapped hard. 
and I may have to pause to talk to my husband for a bit because important stuff so forgive me in advance for that but this dude got zapped and that's not good why did he get zapped who zapped him how did they zap him And where is the peace sign? BRB, folks. Okay, I still haven't found that peace sign, but let's keep going. Hi, Link. I just got my butt poked. two things. It could be like the V-shaped fingers, V for victory, that sort of thing, or it could be the freaking circle with the branches in it. Bug. And the nightly battle of who gets the chair, my husband or my cat, and I think the cat's winning. <laughs> he is winning. Wow. Oh, that's that's funny. Oh, there it is. Really hard to see. What's the next course of action, Jess? Well, I would like to see if I can discuss with an electrician the possibilities of murder by electrocution. Oh, maybe you should speak to Rick at his store on the next street over. He was a good friend of Daniel's and might be able to help you. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we'll be seeing Vern. My abacus is missing. My lucky abacus. I simply cannot get to work without it. That silly receptionist girl must have hit it, I'm sure of it. The nerve of her! I refuse to start work without it! Hi, Mr. Crazy Hair! around a bit first. So now we know the aftermath of what happened to everything in the pre-
previous game. Ah, Mrs. Fletcher. If you're here on your investigation, I'll let you know right now there's no way I'm letting you into my shop. You'll scare away my customers. How the hell is a little old lady gonna scare away your customers, dude? But as a member of Moose Lodge, you're a valuable lead. I'm not a member anymore. I was kicked out weeks ago. Unless you need advice about various medications, I can't help you. This dude is a smug prick. I think he did it. I'm just gonna say because I already don't like him. At least Mr. Crazy here's old, but he has an excuse. Well, who do we have here? What brings you here, Mrs. Fletcher? See, this is nice. Good afternoon, Rick. We have an odd question for you. How difficult would it be to kill someone by electrocution? Aha! Is this for the plot of your next book? Nope. I wish that it were. Daniel Lane was found electrocuted to death at Moose Lodge this morning. And Mrs. Fletcher has reason to think that it may have been done deliberately. Oh, sorry to hear that. Well, uh, it wouldn't be too difficult, really. Some tampered wire insulation and improperly installed safety ground in the outlet, add in some water, and all you'd have to do is touch the exposed wire to be zapped. Who would be dumb enough to do that last part? Seriously, in real life, who would be stupid enough to see the puddle of water and the exposed wire and touch it? Unless, you know, they got the water got spilled after the fact. And even then, you know, the whole thing doesn't sit right with me. Just, just a thought. Just, just a little thought. One more letter. Of course, I'm having trouble finding the wooden stick. Pfft. 
was tricky. wonder. I don't know what to do. Hey there, Jessica. Oh, he did come back. <laughs> yep, Vern's back too. Awesome! Hello, Vern. We were hoping to get information about Daniel from you, since you're a member of the Lodge. Daniel, such a shame about what happened to him. Just after he was voted president, too. Now that he's gone, I'm the president of the Lodge. I knew it had happened. I only wish it was under better circumstances. I, I would have rather been elected. I didn't know the Moose Lodge election happened so recently. What do you mean that it was eventually going to happen? Did you think that the presidential poll was unfair? I took a rough poll before the election and disguised it using symbols. I'm pretty sure that the election was rigged so that Daniel would win. Uh-oh. Thank you. 
Ah, so I'm guessing, uh... do this scene and then let out. Sorry, I'm so quiet. It's... I don't know, I just went quiet. Mm -hmm. This one's a little darker than normal, but... I'll be okay. <laughs> is snoring. He was snoring. Do not argue with me on microphone. I, I rule here. You know this. next time we will work on the Moose Lodge murders. Well, murder. And once again, Vern is kind of a suspect, just like he was in the previous time we had him in a case, if you remember. Still, it's nice to see him again, and I have a feeling he wasn't the guilty party. Later.